Hi, Tom, Daniel, and Eileen. How are you? Good, thank you. Hello, very well, thank I'm you. Well, How are you? I thought you were all so brilliant on the show, and I loved watching your character choices um, just to signify the changing of time, the different things that were happening to your characters. It's all beautifully done. Amazing acting. So, um, <laughs> Tom and Eileen, I'll start with you because I thought your scenes together were so powerful, so moving. And I think they really set the stage for um, who Billy became later in life. Um, so I'm curious for both of you, what did you like best about working with each other? <laughs> uh, good question. It's really hard. Eileen's really difficult to work with. She's a massive <laughs> diva. Um, <laughs> there you go. I, I've been complimenting Eileen all morning and she, she, she withers and like, and reels every time I do. So now I'm going to start insulting her throughout the day. Uh, <laughs> uh, I, I mean, I, I'll, I'll start. Uh, I, I, um, <laughs> I mean, it's just Daniel and Eileen and everyone else. It, the cast is just phenomenal. And it's a credit to the producing team on this and, and Michael. Uh, they've cast good actors first and foremost, above all. Um, actors who care about the craft and who care about the storytelling. And you can see that I think it is palpable in, in, the, in the show. It feels authentic and it feels honest and truthful. Um, and, and that being said, I... Uh, the moments I think in the first uh, four episodes, like my or first two episodes, my favorite scenes are the ones I got to do with Kathleen because I think, like you said, he is so uh, formed by his experiences with Kathleen. She she made him the man that he was, um, and and losing her I think really sends him down this spiral uh, and and kind of leaves him wide open to then be kind of moved and and shifted by someone like jesse um i think it's it's his kind of main it's his kryptonite his vulnerability is the fact that he lost the person who who gave him his strength in the world and who and who gave him his moral compass and when she goes uh when she when she dies uh he he's lost he's really really lost and and confused and and he's young and and so when someone like jesse comes along and then the the, the other outlaws who eventually take him in uh, I think he's uh, he's incredibly vulnerable to it, and and Kath Eileen's performance as Kathleen made that easy as an actor. Um, there, were, there were moments where all our scenes are quite quiet and intimate, and um, and it was nice because sometimes in that world, you know, a lot of it is kind of boisterous and, and gritty, and there's a lot of dust, and then there's these moments of kind of peace between them that we got to experience as actors, where it just felt very vulnerable and very in the moment, and uh, and there's this quiet honesty there. Yeah. Yeah, like a Tom. I cannot sing Tom's praises like any more highly. Like, Go on. <laughs> <laughs> Let me start at the start. Um, but um, he's just, but like he just oozes truth. Like I totally like his his Billy has such compassion and like all the things. But I just believed he was Billy because it was just sitting within him and like in all of those scenes it was a reaction to the gift of somebody being so generous towards you and you know it's just listening and 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 my I'm really just responding to his brilliance is what I'm trying to say um but they were really really special because it's it's such a it was such a beautiful dynamic to play um because so much they understand each other so much that so much of things are unspoken like they understand things or can see things with a look and if you think about it nearly like your closest people to you whether it's your mother father friend uncle and i don't know somebody it could just be anybody there's some people that understand you and that like just a look or a seeing that or they're not going to like that all those little things just felt completely alive like that they, they were all floating almost like above the two of us um and i think that's very much testament to the talent of of who who our billy the kid is i keep calling them our kid but that's a real irish thing it is. we're like all right our kid <laughs> <laughs> like he really he really is our good he just uh, yeah it was um such a joy to be able to be in scenes with such such a talent but that was the same it, uh, the, to reiterate what tom said everybody that i got to like have a scene with or whatever had that had that little bit of magic in it and i agree like when we turned up and you 
you start to do these things with people, you realize, gosh, these are real listeners and generous people. And yeah, everybody. Mm. And beyond, like beyond that is, you know, like, like these guys said, everybody was so perfectly cast. Mm. Uh, everybody's amazing what they're doing, passionate for what they do. But then beyond that, yeah, good, good, good people. Like we, we, Tom and a bunch of other guys and I went, went for a week away after we finished filming for six months to, to Fino do a surf trip. Like we just couldn't get enough time with each other almost. I mean, there's, and it's rare that you have such a camaraderie and a, 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 it's just, it's just so joyful to be around people who, who love what they do, I think, and, and are good people. Yeah. Agreed. Yeah. So Daniel, you bring so many different layers to Jesse. He's dangerous, but you can feel the love that he has for Billy. You can feel the love that he has for his crew. Um, so tell me what were some of your favorite moments to play? He just feels like such a, yeah, a gift to play. There is so many colors. That's why I just loved him so much. Um, oh man, I, there's too many things, but... It, it's funny that all the, there's so many big bombastic moments and f- fun, exciting things that happen. And it, it's funny that one of my favorite mem- like favorite scenes that I shot is actually one with Tom when we're both lying on, you know, in separate bunks talking. Oh, yeah. And it's so quiet. It's pretty much, it's, in some ways, it's the only scene where we see Billy and Jesse, Jesse articulate their their uh, disparate views and values and 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 still missing each other they still miss they, they're trying to convince each other of their varying viewpoints and they still miss each other but it i don't know i just it was i really it was at the, at the end of the show where we finally got to have a moment which wasn't heightened it was it was honest and it was I don't know. I, I just thought it was so perfect. It's, it's a scene that so perfectly illustrates the problem between their friendship. You know, it's not that they don't like each other. They, they just are missing each other. They, love each other. they don't understand each other, right? It's- yeah, they, I, I think Jesse's like, I think Jesse's so much a product of his time, you know, of, of the, the racism of the South um, and of, of a desire for, you know, he, I, I see him as almost like a symbol of capitalism. Like he, he is, he is, he's, I think the audience will feel like a part of, you know, and anybody who's trying to like surge through in life and then, and, and, you know, get that promotion or success. I, I, I see him as, as that figure. Um, and, and, and Billy's motivation is so different. I, I sort of losing the thread of that, but yeah, he's, uh, he, he just has a different motivation. And I just, anyway, long story short, I love doing that scene. Uh, <laughs> before I waffle on anymore, I love doing that scene. <laughs> and Tom, I love to see you show off your singing skills and then playing guitar, played violin. Oh. Amazing. Um, and then I imagine the, uh, the big uh, hand fight was quite a uh, highlight for you. <laughs> oh, man. Yeah, I mean, that's the thing about this show is there's so many layers and angles. Um, it's, it's so not one thing, which I love. And, and I love Westerns and I've always loved Westerns. But, but I, I think when you think of a Western, you think of the certain tropes, you know, the guy, the, the door swinging open and the guy walking in with a, with a shuffle and the, and the clinking of the, of the spurs on the boots. And yes, there is always going to be that because it was a real part of this world. But I think what we have in this show is, which is really special, are these just like these moments of yes, violence and 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 camaraderie and the gang. But then like just when you think you know what it is, uh, Michael's writing and the show will will undercut that, and and suddenly you'll see a, a moment of softness between Kathleen and Billy, or a moment of a vulnerability where Billy chooses to pick up a guitar and play a song because he doesn't know what else to do. Um, and he channels his, his Irish, you know, folk music that lives in his blood um, because that's his way of surviving because he, he has multiple ways of surviving. Um, and that's, that's true. That's, that's human. You know, like you think about uh, people who are fighting now um, in, in Ukraine, there were, there were men who were musicians and artists fighting that for survival. Um, and so I think it's a very human uh, kind of universal story. This 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 story of people being more than one thing. They're not just that they're fighters, yes, but they're also they're also artists. And and I think Billy is an artist at his at his core, actually. Well, thank you all so much for the art that you bring into the world. I really appreciate it. Have a lovely day. Thank you. 
Thank you Thank so you much, Laura. Thank you. Thank you. Bye.